Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. As of about 10 minutes from when I'm making this, when I hit the record button, Wizards of the Coast announced a rules change and some ban list changes, but most importantly, most impactfully, a rules change to companions. Uh, so the way that it used to work, of course, is that you could just pay the cost of the companion and it goes from your sideboard to your hand. Now there's something extra. There's uh, a rule that makes it where, in order to bring it from your sideboard to your hand to play, you have to first pay three generic mana. That'll get it from your sideboard to your hand. And this does a few things. One, the most obvious, it slows them down by three mana, which is usually going to be a turn. Two, it means that hand attack, like Thoughtseize and Inquisition of Kozilek, will now actually be able to interact with them, and so they'll start to see play again. And three, hopefully they just won't be as powerful. <laughs> There's something about the companion mechanic, to paraphrase Rich Shea, Dr. Rich Shea, uh, that the mechanic itself is probably too strong the way that it used to be worded. Even if you put a pretty tight restriction on the companion, the upside of getting an extra card into your hand is just too much for a lot of uh, for a lot of decks to pass up. I mean, heck, I pl I switched from blue to black so that I could run Luris in Infect in Modern, and Luris is so good that it had to be banned in Vintage. Now, this isn't something that was necessarily all that unexpected. There were players that were at least suggesting, if not predicting, like Jim Davis, that a rules change uh, would happen. The example he gave is that with Oko, you can't really change the rules on it. You know, we're not Hearthstone. We can't change a card that's already been printed. But with Companions, because it lists the companion on the the uh, companion ability on the card, but not exactly what that refers to as far as the rules text goes, you could change that. You could change the background rules text, and that looks like exactly what they did here. I'm generally a fan of it. I'm gonna have to <laughs> go back to the drawing board on... I'll just go back to regular Modern Infect, and a deck tech I recorded today, this morning, is going to have to be redone. <laughs> so, or, or not, actually. Maybe we'll just get one last look at the way that mechanic the mechanic used to work. Uh, but beyond that, we also did have some bannings, and they were the same banning in Standard and Historic, Agent of Treachery, and Fires of Invention. Now, that seems really reasonable to me. Agent of Treachery was the kind of card that was oft it was a very common reanimator target because it was a guaranteed two-for-one. You easily can put it into your guard and decks these days, and you can get it back, get one of your opponent's cards, their most impactful card. And it's just any permanent, so you can even take a land if they have nothing else. And that's just really, 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 so on and so forth, strong. And then Fires of Invention allowed decks to, to boil it down simply enough uh, to just take way too much advantage, way more advantage than was expected of the extra mana that you would get. Fires is an enchantment, a red enchantment, that lets you play up to two spells per turn. Uh, with CMC equal to or less than the number of lands you control. So on the turn you play Fires, you get another 4 drop. If you play a land on the turn after, you get 2 5 drops. You effectively go from 5 mana to 10 mana at the cost of a card. That's The restrictions imposed by Fires of Invention were not strong enough to keep it from being broken. That sounds familiar. That seems to be a running theme going on here. Alright, so that's the announcement. I'm still going to put up the, the video of the Garuda Land Destruction deck tech, but in the future, I will probably have to change that up. Probably. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I'll, I'll go back to the drawing board and I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, in the meantime, take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye!